napkins. One day I'll get that silly ball before it gets me, and I'll know how to do it, because I know magic. Yes, I said magic. One day, Hartley was hunting in the kitchen. I'm hunting in the kitchen. And do you know why? Because I'm hungry. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Sorry I'm late, Hartley. I have to fetch this piece of pipe. I've got to take it to my work after dinner. Dinner? Dinner? I'm far too hungry to have dinner. I must have something to eat. I want a carrot. I want a carrot. All right, I need a right. carrot. All right, calm down. Calm down. I'll see what I can do. Do? Do? What can you do? There isn't a carrot in the house. I've checked. Well, just hold on a sec. I've only got one pair of hands, you know. What do you expect? Magic. Why not? All right, I'll tell you what. While I'm making dinner, I'll tell you a story. All about a real magician. Oh, all right. Once upon a time, there was oh, yes, a magician. I know that bit. Get on with it. Once upon a time, there was a real magician. And he was called Magnifico the Magician. Oh, yes, this is getting a bit more exciting. Oh. And every day, he could do all sorts of magical tricks. Like finding eggs behind people's ears. How did you do that? And he could do all sorts of other magical things as well. He could pull miles and miles of scarves from people's sleeves. Ah. And he could also do disappearing tricks as well. Oh, no, no, please don't make me disappear. Of course I won't, Hartley. It's only a story. But in the story, he could make people and things disappear. Like, for example, this orange. <coughs> Presto, changeo, orangeo, disappearo. Almost unbelievable. But you know, Hartley, one day, Magnifico got tired of doing all his tricks. Oh, how terrible. Yes. All the magic seemed to have gone from Magnifico. And what was worse, from all the people who used to watch him as well. The people who used to be happy were sad and unhappy without Magnifico's magic to cheer them up. And when Magnifico saw this, you know what he did? He did his magic again because he realised he could perform the greatest magic of them all. And what was that? He could turn sad people into happy ones. Did you like that story? Good. Let's have our dinner, then. Mm. Oh, Tom, Tom, uh, you forgot my carrots. So I did, Hartley. Let's get a carrot by magic. Like Magnifico the Magician. Yes, but you're not a real magician, are you? I mean, it was only a story. Let's see. We don't want an apple, plum or pear. Let's have a carrot for Hartley Hare. Ah! 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 It's, it's a magic. It's a trick. <laughs> Go on, Hartley. Eat your carrot. No! No! I won't touch it. Ah! It's not magic, Hartley. I was only fooling. Hartley! Oh, what's all this noise? Can't you let a poor tortoise sleep? I'm sorry, tortoise, but I've upset Hartley. He thinks I've performed some magic. Magic? I bought a carrot for Hartley's dinner, and I put it in the pipe so I could carry everything home more easily. See? Ah! Meanwhile, in Hartley's study, under his desk. Oh, oh, come on now. This is stupid. Am I a hare or a mouse? Uh, and after all, anything that makes carrots appear from out of nowhere can't be all bad. Yes. Yes, there might be something in this magic business. And if Tom can do it, well, anyone can. Hmm. I think I'll give it a try. Magic. <laughs> and so, Hartley decided to do some magic. 
Mm. Now, I think I'll start with something easy. Mm. I think I'll make something disappear. Now, what can I use? Something that no one would miss. Mm. Ah! Tortoise! Now, let me see. How does one do this? Uh, oh, yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> now, presto, oh. <laughs> presto, changeo, tortoise, disappearo, poof! Oi, what's going on? Are you wiping me with a tea towel? No, tortoise, I'm trying to make you disappear with magic. I'll make you disappear if you try that again. Now, hop it. How can I do my magic if no one will help me? Anybody home? Oh, there you are, Hartley. And Tortoise. Mm. Oh, I see Tortoise is sleeping. He always is. Hey, oh, are you in a hurry, Mrs. Muddle? Would you like a cup of tea or a carrot? Oh, no, thank you, Hartley. Actually, I just stopped by to return these eggs that Tom lent me. I always like to return things that I borrow. That's the whole point of borrowing, you see. Yes, quite. Oh, well, then, could I perhaps borrow you? Borrow me, Hartley? Mm. I'm not a couple of eggs, you know. Oh, I know, I know, Mrs. Muddle. You're far more use. Oh. You see, <laughs> I'm a magician. Well, I didn't know that, Hartley. Mm. Well, I've only just decided to become one, you oh. see. Mm. But I need some help. I need someone to do my magic with, so please, may I borrow you? Well, I always try to be a good neighbour, Hartley. If I've got something that you haven't got And you want to borrow it, here it is But now you want to borrow me Call it sharing, sharing Well, come on, Hartley, what do you want me for? Well, I want you to help me get some carrots out of that pipe. Pardon? Oh, nothing could be simpler. I'll show you. <clears throat> Magic pipe, if you dare, give a carrot to Hartley Hare. Go on, lift the pipe. Oh. Oh. Well, the pipe's empty, Hartley. Yeah, well, of course it's empty, or it wouldn't be magic, would it? No. Give me a carrot, you stupid pipe! That's a come on. Temper, temper, Hartley. Oh, yes, quite. Obviously, the pipe is faulty. It's broken. Or yeah, perhaps Tom has used up all the magic. Mm. Never mind. Uh, we'll go on to something else. Um, uh, oh, I knew scarves. Well, I didn't bring one with me. Oh, no, you don't need to. You Soon you'll have miles and miles and miles of them. <laughs> and miles. Oh. So, give me your arm. Oh, well, I, I don't really see the point. No, you will, you will. Now, come on, come on. Now, stand well back. No, 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 don't go away, don't go away. That's right. <clears throat> now, let's say the magic words. Oh, magic spirit, we believe. Let's pull some scarves from up this sleeve. Oh, well, you win a few and you... Oh, I did it! I did it! Oh, no, this is my hanky. I always keep it up my sleeve. Oh, so it's not magic, then? No, it's my hanky. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Let's try something else. I know. Let's do the old egg trick. I'll just put these no, eggs you behind your ear. You will do no such thing, Hartley. Now, listen, the only thing you'll make with that is a mess. Now, eggs are for one thing and one thing only, and that is for eating. I think you've done quite enough magic for today. I'm going home. Oh, no, no, please, 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 Mrs. Muddle. Don't go. Give me one more chance. One more chance to be a magician. <sighs> well, all right. I know what we'll do. We'll do the old disappearing trick. I'm good at that. Yes, I was practising it with Tortoise when you came in. Well, he's still here, Hartley. Yes, well, he isn't any good at it. No, no, I think you're a little big, just a trifle large to cover with a tea towel. Oh. So, um, would you mind standing over there behind those curtains? Oh, right. Mm. That's right. Tea? Yes, there, perfect. And after I've said the magic words, which will be very magic indeed, you'll be gone. And she will be gone. So, if you'll just step back and close the curtains, please. Thank you. And now, all that's left is for me to say, presto, changeo, Mrs. Muddle, disappearo, boff! Ah! It's magic! It's magic! I've changed Mrs. Muddle into Tom. I'm still here, Hartley. We were just trying out one of his little tricks. I came in through the front door, Hartley, you see. 
I forgot my piece of pipe. Oh, I failed. You have you haven't failed, Hartley. Now come along. Don't you know what magic is all about? Come out here. Come on. Can you see it? It's a magical world, and it's everything that's used by you and me. Just pretending it's a magical world, and you'll find it because it's there if you can see. A pipe became a treasure chest, the finest that you've ever seen. A calendar's a royal crown, fit for the head of a king or a queen. Can you see it? It's a magical world, and you'll find it because it's there if you can see. There, you see, Hartley. Now, the world is really full of magical things, and you don't need to make people disappear or pull carrots out of pipes to prove it. And if you wait a second, I'll show you something that looks like magic. Oh, I think it's... Time. ...to show Hartley how to turn eggs into omelettes. A carrot omelette, especially for you, Hartley. Oh. <laughs> now, watch while I break these eggs into the bowl. One. Two. Now, I'll beat the eggs. Do you see what it looks like, Hartley? Yeah, it's a sticky, gooey mess. <laughs> Would you like to taste it? Ooh, um... Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Quite yeah. right. Now, I'm going to put this into the pan to cook. And it comes out looking like this. What? Eh. Now, taste that. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yes, Hartley. Mrs. Muddle changed a plain, gooey egg into a yummy, fluffy omelette. She changed one of these into something completely different. Quite magical, don't you think? I'll, uh, I'll let you know after I finish my last trick. Oh, not another one, Hartley. <laughs> yes, I'm going to make this omelette disappear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't had my dinner yet. Goodbye. 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 Tomorrow morning at 10 past 12, Geoffrey Bungle Zippy and George return with Rainbow.